Hey guys! Welcome to a random vlog centered around three days of living as a sophomore in chemical engineering at the University of Michigan. Before we get into it, do you watch this channel to increase your SAT or ACT score? Look no further than to Prep Scholar to help you out with that. Their test prep programs are written by experts and they guarantee a 160 point increase in your score or your money back. They're what I use to help me get a 1600 on my SAT, and I can't recommend them enough. If you use the links in the description below, you can get $50 off their online program or get access to personalized tutoring with expert SAT tutors. So go check it out. Doing so really supports this channel, and I think it's a really helpful resource if that's something you're interested in. Anyways, let's get into it. We're starting off strong with me barely waking up in time to make the weekly chemi luncheon. I saw my friend on the bus, and there was also a random event happening in the grove, so we got some cotton candy. Actual lunch, or breakfast for me, was pretty good. It was a virtual luncheon with Intel, and they had lasagna. Yay! It's a great resume experience, great community, great time, grow lots of person. More importantly, bark all the time. After the luncheon, the upperclassmen in a bunch of different departments were presenting at the design expo. I had an assignment for one of my classes to go check it out and support them, and it was really cool to see what everyone's projects were. We got to play Minecraft sounds on a guitar and eat vegan cheese, and a lot of my friends were also presenting. I really did have to rush back to Central Campus after this to get to my Orgo class. This class is collaboration-based and very tight-knit, and it's so much more helpful than the big Orgo lectures, so it really helped me survive Orgo 2 this semester. Today we were going over our exams before we got them handed back, which was always the worst part since you realize all the mistakes you made, but you can't do anything about it. But I actually did pretty well on this one. After that, I headed to the Ugly, our undergraduate library, and I had to caffeinate since I was running on less than six hours of sleep. I ended up grinding out a substantial amount of my thermal homework by going to virtual office hours. I listened to a lot of David Bowie, and I started to review my old thermal lectures that I may or may not have slept through part of. I decided to change the scenery a little bit because this happened to be the first really nice day of the year, and my friends were out on the diag along with like half the campus. I did a little bit of orgo review, and then we went out to dinner at Tomokun. I went to the weekly general body meeting for Woven Wind after that, which I didn't get too much footage of. More content for the vlog. Mm. This is not even like a good content. Then my friend and I <laughs> spotted this conspiracy theorist dude who'd been hanging out at the oh, yeah. Diag a lot, so of course we had to investigate. Oh my god. Because back then they used a string, now they use other bones. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of hidden free food in the ugly because of finals week, and also they were playing mean girls in the diag, so I got to catch the tail end of that. We ended up going back outside until around 2am to study, and I got through all the rest of those thermal lectures and finished the homework. Now on Friday, I don't have class until 11.30. And I surprisingly got to the robotics building a little early and got a muffin for breakfast and did a bit of org review with my friends while I waited for lecture to start. It was kind of a solemn day in Thermo because we knew we were getting our quizzes back at the end of the lecture, but that didn't even end up happening. They actually lied to us to get us to come to lecture. But I'm very happy that we didn't end up getting them back this day because I didn't do too well and it definitely would have messed up the vibes for the rest of the day. Spoiler alert, it did end up fine. I passed, so I don't have to take it again next year. I then sort of ditched my fluids lecture to head to my research lab because I had some testing to do with our spin coder. A shipment came in and we get lab snacks from some of the equipment companies and my grad student always gives me the fruit snacks. 
I had to get through radiation training so I can use some of the x-ray equipment in the material science lab, and I just found the format of these videos to be the funniest thing ever. Today in lab, I was trying to figure out the exact settings and concentrations of a solution that you need to create a really thin, even film on the slides that we're preparing. Here are my final slides from that day. I think they turned out pretty nice. I didn't record what I was up to for the rest of the day, but probably just more studying or goofing off. My friend had a surprise birthday party that night also, and the cake was rainbow and so cute. I'm also obsessed with the Rasputin dance on Just Dance, and I actually won it for once. Anyways, next day. Saturdays are build days for my project team, Woven Wind, and that's all the way up at the Wilson Center. It's super annoying to get up there on weekends since there aren't that many buses that run, but today was such a nice day, so I was thriving. We were working on a prototype for our blade design, so we cut out a bunch of wood and foam cross sections to piece together, and we also just did some general planning. On our way back to Central Campus, there was some camp or something going on in the aerospace building, and my friend knew the person running it, so he gave us a box of pizza, which I devoured. I then headed to the Union, got a coffee, and caught up on my Orgo lecture from Friday. After a bit of studying, it was time to hit the gym, and then I went to my friend's place to hang out in her apartment's hot tub, except it was super sus and cloudy, so we actually didn't end up going in. Anyway, that was three days in my life as a college student approaching finals week. I hope this was fun to watch, and you got to see a bit more what an academic and social life can look like at the University of Michigan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon!